Dasha in the studio with us. It's finally nice to see you so I can, uh, I can't stand you. It is, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh my God, kidding, thank kidding. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what everyone wants to hear. Oh my God. Did your boots stop working? <laughs> did you take down? Did you burn you? Can't I remember, get out of your head. Oh my God. I remember the first, <laughs> did, did you know that like, when did you know like, oh my gosh, I've created the, the one of the most viral uh, earworms in a, in a long time? Honestly, right after I wrote it, I was like, it's frustrating how I can't get the song out of my head. I was like, it's this is going to do something because of how catchy it was. Did you already have yeah. the you had the the tune in your head, too? You had it all together? I don't know how that works. Um, in, yeah, in the session we wrote, I mean, I actually freestyled that tune in the lyric, Did Your Boots Stop Working? That's wait, like the what? first thing I wrote. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, you freestyled it? Yeah. So I, we were just playing the chords. <laughs> we were just like, you know, and you kind of just kind of mumble some stuff in session yeah. sometimes. And so we were playing the chords, and I was like, uh, "Did your boots stop working? Did your truck break down?" And everyone was like, "Wait, what'd you just say?" And I was like, "Did your boots stop working?" And they were like, "Oh, that's cool." And so that's how like the whole song started. Was that line? Isn't that amazing? It's pretty cool. I mean, think about think about the options if you didn't do that. Exactly. Could have been so many options. It probably like, wouldn't have been the song it is. It's like watching. Oh, you've you've seen yesterday, right? Where they have the Beatles that go yeah. away yes, and they change the lyrics yeah. to "Hey Jude" and make it "Hey Dude." Yeah. I mean, that's that. It wouldn't have been the same song. And no. like, if you wouldn't have freestyled that, it wouldn't have been the same I know. song. It's funny how like because that was such a subconscious moment of like I wasn't trying to say, "Did your boots stop work?" I didn't even know what that meant at the time. You know, <laughs> right? It's just so funny how being an artist and a songwriter sometimes you just gotta trust like your subconscious that it's like working for you and mm -hmm. like just mumble some stuff like I some <laughs> magic comes out it's so weird but <laughs> right that's why it's so hard to be an artist yeah. because you have to trust that it's like it it's is. like uh, trusting ghosts in your house to no, tell you literally. what to do like i don't know how, what's the instructions and no it's, literally it's like let me roll my <laughs> eyes back <laughs> in my head and, yeah, a ouija board yeah and don't. trust my gut i'm like what is your gut it's yeah not even a thing like, right also don't mess thing, with the ouija boards don't mess the ouija boards don't. yeah no i'm not doing a ouija i board. get weirded <laughs> out when i'm at the store and i see him on a shelf i'm like oh, ah, me too. I'm you're weirded out literally by parker brothers no i mean devil summoners i understand they're scary yeah uh, Are you? Uh, let me guess, Carson. You're the person who goes and stands in the bathroom and does the little whatever. Bloody oh no, Mary I totally thing. know that. I'm not messing with that. But my, my, my grandparents had a Ouija board in their basement because some grandkid they knew left what's it. Up. Up. They knew what's up. <laughs> I don't, maybe it was protecting the house. I don't know. <laughs> we never had any ghosts. Night. Let's go summon the devil. Come on. <laughs> All right, All right Dash How did you know my history? <laughs> All right. So this is it. This is the song you're going to be singing in your head. It's Austin. It's Dash, and we got more with her coming up. All right, so there it is. That's the song that uh, everyone is uh, talking about. How that it uh, it is a, it gets in your head. You will be singing that for a while. The good thing is you have new music coming out. I sure do. Are you tired of talking about this one? Honestly, no, because your girl that song has done some things for uh, yeah, me. Right? So she yeah, she deserves the recognition. Yeah. Good, good, you know? good, good, good. I, I appreciate what she's done. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. But you have a new one coming out. I do. Didn't I? It's my new song. Did not on, on the twelfth. Do, do you feel that you have to get it like, oh, hey, this this works? Keep doing more of that? Yeah, I mean, so right now we're building up to the deluxe version of what happens now, which is like five new tracks adding on to the album. So it's like kind of completing the story. And we chose Didn't I as the first song to come out of that because one, it's another total earworm, you know? So yeah. I, cause I wanted that playing off of Austin, of course, but also like kind of tells the aftermath of Austin. So it kind of continues the storyline. Like so that. it's very deliberate. Hmm. Um, uh, yeah. So now, Growing up, were you around country music a lot? Or Absolutely, at all? you were. Yeah, I grew up riding horses, so like oh, at right. the barn. I mean, it's the only thing that would be blasting. And then yeah. I played volleyball too, and country for some reason. You was played like, volleyball? I did. I was Can't captain teach of varsity. Tall. Can't teach tall. Mm -hmm. How I tall love are volleyball. You? I'm five eleven. Five, ten and a half, eleven, something around there. It depends. I, I, well, I can't wait till we take a picture at the end of this, and you're taller than Bubba. That's my <laughs> favorite. Probably gonna thing. happen. Do you know? <laughs> probably. I'm gonna stand on a box. Do what you, are y'all talking do about? Do you feel weird as a, as a tall girl that you have? Do you sometimes kind of shrink down some? I used to, but now I'm so so Why? proud of my height. Because as a girl, when you're like in, I'm talking about like early high school, middle school. I was taller than everybody. I was five eleven when I was. 13 taller than most like, of the that's boys really hard Everybody. yeah and i felt so insecure about my height and i just felt big and it yeah. was like the worst feeling in the world and everyone be like oh my god you're so big now you're great and like that's the worst thing for a teenage girl to hear is you're big and people just like <laughs> i would have no idea 
And that like really messed with my brain for a while. And so I would slouch, but now I'm like, I wear Didn't heels people though probably say you should model? Just yeah. because everybody thinks, oh, you're tall. Immediately yeah. you should model. You should model. You should play basketball. You look like Taylor Swift. Like I get that <laughs> literally five times a day on repeat. Uh. And it was great. And I think it was just like my own insecurities had to die down before I was like, no, I'm proud to be tall and I'll wear heels and I'll yeah. be six four when I go out. You know, yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> but are you so still jealous. Growing? What is that life like? <laughs> uh, Dash is with us. Uh, we'll come back. We'll talk more with her on the way. Stand by. Uh, Dasha is in the studio with us. Uh, what happens now is an album that it's a country album. It's out. You can check that out. Also, got new music coming out on uh, Friday. On Friday, the song that uh, if you're like, oh, Dasha, who is that? It's uh, no boots. To work. That song, Austin. <laughs> so, when when you have a song like Austin that is used on everyone's TikTok, mm-hmm. everyone picks it. Do you get money every time they use it? Um. Or do you know? I don't actually know the answer to that. Yeah. I think I made some money off of TikTok just because of how much it got used. Uh-huh. I don't know how much or honestly, I haven't. I don't know. You I don't have even no know. Idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, boy. I don't know. <laughs> well, right. That's not why we did it. I remember you know? those days. I, did, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. Someone's driving a car, new car, but I don't know. <laughs> so, do you, you know. Okay. I mean, probably. Like, obviously we did, but I don't know how much or like what Let me ask you something. Works. So when artists have like a, I see artists, like they'll sing the hook of the song. Mm-hmm. And they'll do it like 12 different ways in 12 different videos. And and they put it out there for and it for some reason it, is it just repetition? Is that the re- do you did that? Um, did you do that with Austin? You mean like posting wise? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. See the same same video. Yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. the same video. It's the same song, but it's over like and over again. Twelve different, yeah, different parts almost. Yeah. yeah, that's just like on trying to push the song and get, getting people. I mean, it's just content, you know. And I feel like people don't really know what to do for their content sometimes. So sometimes they'll just do the song over and over and over again, different yeah. parts, and like that totally works for some people. But I feel like the best strategy on TikTok, at least that I've found, is like picking one part of the song that's like, oh, that's the catchiest part. That's right. gonna make people go to Spotify and listen to it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and then just focusing on that one part. You have a lot of creators, content creators asking, How do I do this? How did you do that? Yeah, a couple. And honestly, my advice the same every time is just like write better love, songs. Right? Yeah, we guys write better <laughs> songs. Write a catchier song. Ta-da! Can you imagine if I said that to no, him? No, 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 I would love you it if you would. did though. Oh that my would be god, awesome. that's a flex. Um, that's so funny. No, I mean you just have to like genuinely love what you're posting and just get creative with it. Like that's such bad advice. I mean, but, like, it's kind of generic advice. I mean, because, I like, feel like it's lightning do? in a bottle. Like uh, it you is have lightning to be in a bottle. Happy. Yeah, it's you have just, to be happy and you have to believe in what you're doing. You know? Okay. I mean, I feel like you look like we're at a, you know, Miss America pageant. I know. I feel like we're at church right now. I, I don't do, know too. To we're about to take tithe and offering. <laughs> Put your heads but down. Like, no one looking do? around. Austin was such a unique situation of, like, half the music on TikTok was down because of the universal mu- publishing thing. Oh, you know right. that? Yes. So, like, Taylor and Noah Kahan and all that stuff that had been viral was stripped oh, yeah. which totally helped austin blowing sure. the hell up how Whoa, it did great that's awesome yeah. so there was a lot of factors the universe just lined up in like a really beautiful way me making up the line dance me working at that heart horse bar in those few months and so having all that content at the horse barn too uh-huh. and all uh-huh. that stuff just like it was like a perfect storm of I love everything it. yeah good for yeah. you man thanks and also uh, understand that uh are you big d or are you bubba i'm big d well i'm definitely big d but i'm also bubba well, you can be both. Well, yeah, I can. Are you going to be both? All I've right. got two be, nicknames. Be, the big D <laughs> but and I, Big D, like my friends call me Big D as a nickname. Really? Like the Dash? Well, I never, yeah. well, mine's Derek, so I was always Big D. Oh. Also, you're not big at all. So why is your boyfriend <laughs> Bubba? Um, That's just kind of a pet name we made up for each other. We okay. call each other Bubba. It's kind of cute. <laughs> it is cute. It's sweet. That's can we cute. start using you guys as our press photos? Yeah. Of yeah, because it wouldn't be a <laughs> That would be adorable. It's Big really... D and Bubba. It's Big D and Bubba, we swear. Big D and Bubba. Oh, wait, that's so funny. You're like, wow, Big D's really gone through a lot. Wow, Big D's really gone through, <laughs> He's gone through a lot. He's gone through a lot. Wow. I mean, he looks bless really him. good these days. Bless him, though, you know? he wants. He's living his best life. <laughs> look at those. Those extensions. He I think finally so. found himself. He those sure extensions did. look great on yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the new song is called Didn't I. It is coming out on Friday. And of course, Austin and the album uh, What Happens Now. Dasha, you're adorable and oh come God, back anytime. Dasha, everyone. Well, because over the years, uh, teenage kids have told you to like and subscribe. We don't have to say that anymore. You know what to do.